Brand new Steam Deck tutorial today, folks. Final Fantasy VIII we're taking a look at this time, and I'm gonna go through in detail how to install Junction Mod Manager using the 8th Deck plugin for Steam OS. Please bear in mind this should take no longer than 10 minutes and there are some prerequisites that you will need and I'm going to go through them right now. Let's get into this. Okay folks, let's get kicked into the tutorial now just to explain. I have my Steam Deck connected to my laptop dock and I also have a keyboard and mouse for ease of creating this tutorial so with that in mind what we first need to do is we we need to go ahead and install a copy of final fantasy 8 now a caveat here and be very very clear junction 8 and 8th deck does do not work with final fantasy 8 remastered it only works with final fantasy 8 the original pc version it's actually on sale at the moment at the time of creating this video i think it's about five euros so a good time to pick it up at the moment so go ahead and install a copy of that what you also want to do and this is really important as well hit play so you want to be able to create a profile on steam before we do anything else so go ahead and hit play but what we're immediately going to do here is we're going to quit out of the game once we do so so once it loads up you're going to see the main front end or main menu before the game launches where you can change settings, etc. I uh, just hit OK here on this prompt and it'll load up the Square Enix launcher for the game itself. And at this point, we can close out of the game. So we actually have a Steam profile created for the game. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to Steam. We're going to go to Power and we're going to go to Switch to Desktop. The first thing we're going to do when we're here on the desktop, we're going to go to right click, Create New and Folder. I'm going to name it 8th deck i'm gonna hit enter let's just leave that in the center there at the moment go ahead then and open a browser window and we're going to go to the following url and the address is github.com forward slash dot access forward slash eight deck and when you get to this page here on github gonna to go to the button that says code gonna hit the little drop down there i'm gonna go download zip now we can close that with the browser open up the dolphin file manager go to downloads and you can see I've a couple of copies here of 8th Deck downloaded. So I'm going to take this one here, 8th Deck dash main. I'm going to go right click, or you can use uh, open with Arc. So Arc is the inbuilt uh, zip utility for Steam OS. Let's do it that way. So with this in mind, what we're going to do is then we're going to go hit extract. Going to find our folder on the desktop. There it is, 8th Deck. Select it, hit extract. I'm going to close out of everything here. Let's go to the folder that we created earlier, 8th deck. There should be another subfolder within that called 8th deck main. Double click into that. And there's going to be a, couple, a folder and three files. What we want to do next is we want to right click the one that says install.sh. And you're going to use run in console. So click that and you will see a script starts launching. Let it do its thing. So basically it's a script it's going to start installing junction 8 mod manager on top of your steam installation of final fantasy 8 so again be patient with this and eventually you will see a prompt that says choose an installation path for junction 8 the folder must already exist so in this case again we're going to use the folder we created on the desktop so hit ok and go to your desktop and just highlight 8th deck hit open and it's going to say Junction 8 will be installed to Home Deck, Desktop 8 Deck, Continue. We're going to go Yes. And you can focus on the console script again to follow the status of the installation. And once it's all done, if it's installed successfully, you will see all done. You can close this window and launch Junction 8 from Steam or the desktop. Now, let's do that. Let's close this. Let's close this. Let's close this. What we're going to do is we're going to return to gaming mode. So now that we're back in gaming mode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Steam, going to go to Library, going to go to Non-Steam, and now you will see an entry called Junction 8. Go ahead and click that, we're going to hit Play, and there's some configuration we need to do first before we start installing any mods. So what you'll see is when we launch it first, you will see uh, the baseline configuration. You can leave everything here as default, um, and hit Save, and a couple of things that should be done and what will happen immediately is it'll state that successfully updated FFNX to version 1.22. That'll happen automatically. 
So that is the um, executable that allows the use of mods itself within the game. So with that in mind, what we need to do next is we need to go to settings. Let's go to controls first. And just to verify, you will see the presets here and you will see the alignment of the PlayStation buttons or where you remember the PlayStation button being will be aligned with the gamepad of the Steam Deck. So they will be in roughly the same positions as you would play with an original PlayStation controller. The other thing to check for here is if you go to uh, Game Driver. And we're going to go first, you'll see the graphics tab here. You can adjust some of these. A couple of things I would recommend you do is you can turn on anti-aliasing. Just turn that up a little bit here to 2 by MSAA. Uh, you can mess around with the aspect ratio if you want to stretch to fill. I'm going to leave it at 4.3. Uh, I recommend you use borderless window. Um, you can adjust the resolution if you wish. I'm just going to leave everything else here as default. The other thing as well is to click controls. So there's an option here that says use gamepad icons. So it says use icon textures for gamepad buttons instead of B1, B2, etc. So again, you can make it even more like the PlayStation by hitting this on. So the button prompt within the game will show up as PlayStation controls. Uh, the other thing to hit here is advanced if you wish. And you can mess with the internal resolution scaler, uh, which again will in increase the resolution of the game itself. Uh, I'm going to leave this to auto as well. But again, you can mess around with that if you want to improve how the game actually looks. What we're going to do is we're just going to hit save for now. Uh, the next thing we want to do is just check as well your language. You can change it here in this option here. I'm leaving it as um, English, but there are other languages, Brazilian, French, German, Greek, Italian and Spanish. Another little handy option just to point out to folks before we start actually installing mods. You can create profiles within the mod manager itself. So let's just say you had a set of mods you wanted to use for Final Fantasy VIII on one run and then maybe in another run or something like that you want to exclude a mod and you want to have a different profile with a different set of mods etc um, you can do that by creating them here i'm just leaving it as default so let's get go ahead and go to the juicy stuff let's start browsing the catalog so over here you can go to browse catalog and you will see the list of all available mods for final fantasy 8 right now at the moment there's probably eh, about maybe 10 to 15 mods max at the moment I would recommend you use the Hit J mod, which enhances uh, some of the battle effects. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. So you basically highlight it and then you hit download. Again, be very patient with some of these because some of them, th these can be quite large and they take time to install. Some of them are quite quick. Uh, the other one that I would recommend you use is uh, the high polygon characters, uh, which is the second one here, poly up. Again, selecting it, hitting download. Again, this is each to their own, and there are some caveats as well when you're installing mods. Some mods may not be cross-compatible with other mods, so it's also trial and error if you can get a bunch of mods all running together. But these are the ones that I found work the best. Uh, the other thing as well is if you want to add voice acting, if you remember the Echo S7 um, mod that was created for Final Fantasy VII in one of my other videos on this channel, fully voiced acting in the game. Now, this only happens up until the timber section of Final Fantasy VIII, but uh, it being a demo, but they are planning that full release, but you can add voice acting up until that point if you wish. I'm just not going to click it here at the moment, but just to point that one out, it's really cool. The other one I would recommend is the uh, AI upscaled uh, uh, cinema or FMV sequences here. Uh, this is quite large, bear in mind, so I'm not going to install that one at the moment. The other cool one as well is this one here, FFNX FF8 Music, which restores some of the music from the MIDI versions that you get on the PS1 version if you wanted to restore that um, as well. That would be a pretty good mod. But anyway, I'll just go with these two for now. So these are kind of graphical enhancements only. There are some gameplay uh, modification mods here as well if you want to adjust the gameplay. And another one actually cool to point out is if you want to use an external Xbox button or if you wanted to align actually uh, to, to for your Steam Deck to be more like an Xbox pad, you can use these buttons and these replace the icons in game itself. Once you've decided what uh, mods you have installed, 
And you can always confirm which ones you have installed by the little asterisk beside them. It says INST, which is just short for installed. You can see that these two are now installed and ready to rock. Let's go ahead and actually test them. So what you want to do is you want to hit the little drop down here uh, as well. By default, the button will always be play with mods. OK, but you can play without mods just to point that option out. I'm going to go ahead and hit play with mods. So it's going to launch Final Fantasy VIII with the mods that I have installed. And if you've successfully installed it properly, you will actually see the FFNX launch pad first. It's kind of an additional picture that shows up um, on launch of the game before the Squaresoft symbol. Let's get the intro sequence. And get straight into the game. So just for the purpose of the video, I've just skipped on to just the outside world a bit. Let's just try and get into a quick battle. See some of the mods are working. You can see the button presses should be aligned with the controller, etc. And let's just take out these couple of guys. And you can actually see if you look closely, some of those um, uh, attack graphics are kind of enhanced. Again, I'm using the base uh, line resolution here as well. Uh, let's just use maybe a <coughs> Guardian Force here from the junction or something just to create a thunderstorm to showcase that bit of overkill but anyway whatever um, so yeah as I said uh, that is Final Fantasy 8 running uh, Junction Mod Manager with mods installed on your Steam Deck. Hopefully this has helped folks. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work by liking and subscribing. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Also drop a comment down below if you've tried this yet and uh, get chatting to me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.